what's going on y'all welcome to a new episode of american truck simulator and as you guys can see we are currently back with the diamond rio co88 royal cab over truck very nice looking truck very aggressive one we have today and i will say it is a very short cab over with the sleeper very 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 short but it looks cool though very cool i love the customization options that i added to it and uh, i tried to get the trailer to be the same paint color as the truck but it is very close it is not exact i couldn't get the colors to match up properly so we are running with a lighter trailer but it's supposed to be the same color scheme and it is the transcraft tl2000 trailer we have uh, shown it off in the past before got the spread axle today very nice very nice indeed but this truck is very mean i'm just going to say that right now it is a very mean sounding truck Let's go ahead and listen to it starting up here. Here is a look at the interior of the truck. Nothing too fancy today. As I said, it is a very short cab with the sleeper. Very nice looking cab indeed. Let's go ahead and actually turn on our... Uh, I guess we can't have our secondary lights on, so that works too. But let's go ahead and get out of this motel here. We're currently here in Barstow, California, and we are taking a load of concrete barriers up to Sacramento today. Let's go ahead and get out of this uh, motel parking lot. And the uh, reason we are starting out here in California was because I ended up taking a load previously to here from, I believe it was somewhere, uh, I actually don't remember where it was. I think it was Flagstaff. Yes, it was Flagstaff. And uh, I brought a load to here using this truck and trailer combo. And, well, I ended up scrapping the video. So if you guys seen that little Twitter... Uh, post I made I did end up scrapping the video because I was in editing and I honestly did not like how it turned out so we are actually going to be doing another video with this combo here and I will say the FOV on this truck is absolute garbage so if we come over here this is the farthest we can actually go to view out of our side so we can't actually go with like normal trucks and go outside, look out the window and stuff. We can't do that. So we end up having to just kind of look over here. And the mirror FOV is absolutely atrocious as well. So I ended up having to do a third person uh, back in both of the pickup and delivery in the last one. So I'm hoping we don't have to do that in this one. But I honestly can't tell you if we will or not. Just depends on how tight this back's going to be. Alright, so they want it right there. Looks like it's going to be a blindside back. Alright. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today so far. Um, I'll kind of explain what I wanted to talk about in this episode. And that is the trucker shutdown of 2021. That is happening today. So uh, for all you truckers out there, if you guys are watching this video, I do appreciate you guys. And everything that you guys do and I completely agree with your guys's movement on why you guys are shutting down and all of this you know mumbo jumbo stuff that is happening in the world today so I usually don't get too political on this channel but today I think we're gonna get a little political and I think we're gonna lose some subs today and we're probably gonna gain some subs today so we'll just have to kinda wait and see what happens but let's go ahead and get it into reverse here and like I said the FOV on this truck mod is atrocious and I don't remember it being this bad beforehand or when we previously used the truck but to this today it is just atrocious and the only reason why I wanted to uh, or the reason why I'm still using this truck is because it looked mean it sounded mean and I wanted to use a cab over that wasn't that Mac cab over or that broken Peterbilt 352 cab over which I can't get to work without my game crashing so here we are 
here we are. And this one is a free one too. It is available on the ATS mod sites if you guys do want to check it out. I'll have a link to the truck and the trailer. Both are available on the mod sites. Just be careful when you're downloading. Looks like we might actually have this one without having to go into third person. Which is kind of a shock because like I said the last two I had to go into uh, was third person to get the back completed. So let's just hope I don't screw things up right here. No, I think we're looking pretty good on this. I really do. I don't think the truck's going to be... Oh, we just kind of screwed it up, I think. Oh, no, we're good. Keep backing it up just a little bit more. And I think we'll be good. Get the truck straightened out. Oh, we hit the building there, but let's get this truck straightened out. We good? Hey, if they'll take it, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and shut the truck off and unload. Or pff, unload. Let's go ahead and load. Here we are all loaded up with our concrete barriers. Actually look really good. Probably going to like a, some construction site or something. I honestly have no clue. I think we're taking it to another plant. Yeah, so we're taking it to the Key, key Wit plant in Sacramento. I don't know what keywit is, but we'll find out here once we get there. But let's go ahead and start the truck up once again. So today we have a 525 horsepower Detroit Diesel 12 V71T engine, as well as an 18 speed with a retarder. All right, let's go ahead and release the parking brake, put her into forward. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop out on the open road, shall we? But yeah, I'm still surprised I ended up doing that back in uh, first person. Because like I said, the last couple times I had to go back into third person because of the mirrors and the truck FOV being stupid. But then again, maybe I have gotten used to it. I don't know. I do not know. Alright, making this right hand turn. Hopefully before old Creedy shows up. There we go. Get ready to turn right once again. So I ended up finally getting my Prime Week bonus from Amazon. Oh, dude, you almost cut that way too quick. Dude, almost ran right into me, bro. But yes, this is actually from Amazon, not my boss. My boss already gave us our cash bonus. But this is going to tell you exactly how cheap Amazon actually is. So, my bo or, uh, one of my bosses was, she called me over and she's like, pick out a gift card. I said, I'm like, what's the gift card for? And she's like, it's a, or pick out a $15 gift card. And there was three choices. There was uh, Red Robin, Applebee's. I appreciate, I appreciate you letting me go, dude. Thank you. Yeah, it was uh, Red Robin, Applebee's, and I forgot about the third one. But I'm like, what's the gift card for? And she's like, this is Amazon's bonus for you working on Prime Week. And I'm sitting there like, dude, I swear to God, people are stupid. I really do. Like, that dude could have easily merged into the other lane, just like he did right now. Instead, he decides to try to run me off of the road. And now watch. He's probably going to pass me and give me the bird. And we are exiting over here. But yeah, a $15 gift card to a restaurant was their way of saying, Hey, thanks for working Prime Week and, you know, working all these packages and getting all these packages out on time. We appreciate you. I'm like, at least for Christmas, they gave us a $300 bonus. But I mean, a $15 gift card. Seriously, Amazon, that's all you have to offer your drivers? Like, come on now. I just thought that that was kind of a, uh, a disgrace. I really do. I feel like, I feel cheap now because that seems like that's what they think about us delivery drivers is that we're worth $15 food gift cards. It wasn't even a Visa gift card. Like, if it was Visa gift card, I wouldn't care. But I'm sitting there like a, a freaking red ro $15 Red Robin gift card that we ended up using that same day. Like, 
Come on, Amazon. You can do better. You can definitely do better. I did forget, though, California roads are all 55 miles an hour. All 55. But getting into the talking points I wanted to today, well, if you guys have been following Trucker News and Trucker TikTok and Facebook and Twitter, probably any social media site out there, especially, you know, news outlets and whatnot, in Australia, the truck drivers are having a major shutdown. They are shutting down all the major highways, blocking them off, and basically they are going on a mini strike to combat the new COVID restrictions, mask mandates, vaccine requirements, and all of that fun stuff. And uh, I know that a couple truck drivers in the United States are doing it. I don't believe all of them are. I know a majority of them are. And uh, I honestly agree with what they are doing. Look at a little cop bike in the median without the cop. That's interesting. But yes, I do agree with what they are doing because I understand, you know, with the vaccine, it's they're supposed to, you know, it's supposed to help you from getting COVID. But there has been a lot of cases where people have gotten the vaccine, still gotten COVID, and still died from COVID, even though they said there's a great chance that you won't die from COVID in all of this. Now, I'm sitting here, I have not, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I wore my mask in the beginning when it all first started, and then it just kind of saying, you know, we got 15 days to flatten this curve, 15 days to flatten the curve, and that almost turned into a year and a half now. So at this point, I'm just kind of done with it. I mean, I've been done with it for a long time. So I don't have my vaccine, I don't plan on getting my vaccine I don't think employers should mandate you to get the vaccine or government should mandate you to get the vaccine because it should be your choice and it's your right to get it if you want to or not. I'm not dissing you if you get it. I'm just saying that it's not I'm not going to be picking it up or I'm not going to be getting the shot myself. And this is exactly where I said that I'm probably going to lose some subscribers and probably gain some subscribers, you know, win lose situation. But also, with all these new uh, mask mandates, Illinois has actually put out new mandates as well, so you have to wear masks indoors once again, even if you are vaccinated. Now, if I remember a while bit ago, or a little bit ago, Joe Biden was saying that, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I do not support Biden. I have not supported Biden from day one. I am a Trump supporter, and that is all I'm going to say about that. But little while ago, Joe Biden was saying, if you are va vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Well, tumbleweed, man. But now, he is saying that even if you are va vaccinated, you still have to wear a mask. So it's just kind of like, make up your mind. Which one are we doing? If you're vaxxed, do you still have to wear one, or do you not have to wear one? Because it kind of seems like you change up your story every day. And it, it's, it is getting ridiculous with all these lockdowns and mandates and all of this crap that's going on in the world right now. So, And now they're, apparently they're forcing truck drivers, you know, healthcare workers, uh, city state workers. They're forcing them to get the vaccine or they're going to lose their job. Which, in my opinion, I think is complete and utter BS. Because as I said, it should be your choice to get this vaccine. It should be your choice if you want to wear a mask or not. So I understand exactly what these truck drivers are trying to protest and go on strike for and shut down. And I support them 100%. If you guys do want to shut down, I do support you. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the economy is going to either crash or it is going to go down dramatically. I will be 100% honest, honest with that, depending on how many truck drivers in the United States actually do shut down. I've seen quite a few that I follow on TikTok, and they're all shut down, ready to go. So I don't exactly know how many you're going to, but I'll probably see a whole bunch of them out on the road tomorrow anyway. Granted, I'll probably see a whole bunch of Amazon semis. Because, you know, Amazon truck drivers won't be shutting down because Amazon probably won't even let them. 
Oh, you windy curve, man. A lot of these windy roads. Oh, there's a truck stop coming up. All right. But yes, I know with or in Australia. Oh boy, why are we stopping? Oh, there's a red light. Okay. But I know in Australia they're going to be blocking the major highways. Unsure if they're going to be doing that in the United States, or if they're going to be, you know, tying it down at home at truck stop side of the road. Whatever. I'm not too sure exactly how it's going to play out. But I'm probably going to maybe see a whole bunch of trucks on the side of the road and all of that fun stuff tomorrow, but we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, man, I do totally agree with your guys' movement on this, and I do support you guys 100% because truckers, railroaders, and of course another freaking red light. As I was saying, I do support the movement because truck drivers, uh, railroaders, and... All you guys out there in transportation do keep this world moving by um, moving the goods and stuff that we need, like groceries, you know. Today we're hauling automotive parts, so we're hauling stuff to make cars and all of that. Even though, you know, right now there's a whole bunch of cars sitting, you know, in lots because we can't get parts for them. Same thing with, you know, used cars now. Some cars are sitting at mechanic shops. Like, we have a couple vans that are sitting at the Dodge dealership right now awaiting new transmissions and we can't get parts for those so they're just kind of they've been sitting there we've had like two vans out for about a month and a half now because we're waiting on parts for them like it's it's ridiculous and getting crazy out there man but yeah man we are going to be stuck in bumper to bumper traffic i can already tell you oh look at that chp explorer right there man We are trying to get this thing up to 30 miles an hour. No Jake break in the city, Adrian. No Jake break in the city. Oh, and we are switching out to a one lane here. Oh, here is Bakersfield. Good old Bakersfield. But yes, um, as I did mention, I do not support Joe Biden. I never have and I never will. And what really got me in terms of his presidency is what he did in Afghanistan recently. Where he ended up pulling all the troops out of Afghanistan. Leaving all of the civilians in Afghanistan. Which we all know if you're going to be pulling your troops out, you should probably get your civilians out first. And not only, you know, not getting them out of there in time. Having 13 brave United States Marine Corps... Uh, soldiers die in an airport bombing in Kabul, I believe, in Afghanistan. So rest in peace to all you guys out there. Thank you for your service. And uh, yeah, that was just... I feel like right there was the kicker for an impeachment. Because, you know, you left American people on foreign soil right now. Since technically it's not American soil anymore since the troops are pulled. I believe that's how it works. But yes, you left people out in foreign land, and from what I read is he is actually going to be forcing them to get reimbursed, or forcing them to reimburse the government for their plane ticket out of there. And I'm sitting here like, you're gonna, you left them there to basically die, but if they want to leave, you are going to be forcing them to pay their airfare ticket back to here because you didn't do your job properly. I'm sitting here like, that's ridiculous. That is very ridiculous. And then now, of course, we have Hurricane in the eastern part of the United States, like southeastern and eastern parts of the United States. And I was seeing a couple press conferences from Biden. And uh, I guess in one of the conferences, he's not supposed to take any questions. But yet, you're the President of the United States, and you've been told not to take questions from... Ooh, I almost changed lanes on that guy. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna pass this moving truck here. But yes, you're the President of the United States, and you are not allowed to take questions from reporters. That is a new, you know, a new thing that I've never heard of before. I understand, you know, sometimes Joe Biden can't make a complete sentence. But for him not to say not to be able to take questions from reporters is absurd. Especially when, you know, the reporter was asking about 
Afghanistan, and he says he doesn't want to talk about Afghanistan. Ooh, we are speeding. But here we are, guys. I'm going to sound the Jake break for you. And that is it. There literally is no Jake break. In this truck at all, there is no Jake break in this truck. Which I think is really odd. For as good as this truck sounds, there is no Jake break in it. I don't get it. <laughs> like I said, the truck is uh, pretty messed up. But it still looks good nonetheless, so that is why we ended up taking it out for a spin today. Um, other than the FOV and the no Jake brake sound with the engine, it's an alright truck. I do like this truck. I really wish they would make some more, or someone would make another Diamond Rio uh, mod, because I guess there is a couple other trucks that they have made. And uh, as I said in the previous video, I have never heard of this truck. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. But they are pretty cool looking, so that is why we're checking it out today. But yeah guys, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, do make sure you hit the like button. As well as that subscribe button with the bell icon. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, add me on Snapchat, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord server as well. Going straight on, Going straight on. I understand. I understand. But yeah man, that last video that I planned on doing with this truck that I had to end up scrapping... I, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I ended up taking two wrong exits because the GPS wasn't being very clear and it was two exits back to back. And the GPS wasn't very clear either. So I ended up taking the wrong exit, had to go all the way around and ended up taking the wrong exit again because I couldn't get over in time. And yeah, so it was just a cluster of an episode and I was not even, you know, I was... In the recording, I wasn't, you know, feeling it all the way. Like, I was just sitting there like, yeah, you know, I've had to do a third person back. You know, I ended up screwing up a lot with, you know, having to detour and all this other stuff. So, it's just like, eh, let's not upload this one and let's go ahead and redo it. And then, of course, you know, with all the truck issues, or the truck, um, the mod issue. Oh, dude, that is horrible right there, dude. Come on. You could have at least pulled your vehicle to the shoulder. At least we were able to get in back into this lane, but that was ridiculous. Like, I get it if your car breaks down, but you shouldn't be in the left lane like that. If your car's breaking down without any flashers or anything else on. Stockton to Fresno. But yeah, and then after the fact in that video, I ended up not making anything because of how late the delivery was. It was actually kind of bad because when I once I took that second exit, I had to go all the way to San Diego instead of Barstow. And then I took the wrong exit again. So I ended up just, you know, calling to go to the service station. And I honestly just went on the interstate from there. Like, I was like, I'm not dealing with this right now. Ooh, that truck's on fire over there, man. Ooh, that's not good, old UPS. Your packages are going to be late, everybody. Your packages are going to be late. I understand we're speeding, so I'm going back to a 60 right now. just trying to get past that truck. But yeah, this truck is actually kind of weird because, like, you have this giant thing here in the center like no cup holders no nothing and then you have all these dials and stuff and then it reaches the center and then over there you got nothing like it's just nothing just the dash I just find that kind of odd behind a port roll rail P-O-H-L I don't know what that even is port portal I don't know pole 
I have no idea, guys. Uh, I think we're going towards Stockton. No, yeah, maybe. I'm not trying to get this wrong this time. Straight on. Pole transport. Yeah, I've never heard of them before. I'm just glad we don't have cameras in these trucks like we do in the vans. Man, because right now I would get dinging for driving too close behind this guy. But I'm just trying to get to my destination, trying to get these concrete barriers to where they gotta go, man. I'm not actually gonna pass him. Oh yeah, I'm good to pass. Oh. Okay, maybe I can't pass him because I can't go fast enough. I'm in 17th gear right now. And I ain't going any faster. I can't get back over because there's a car right there. Oh, well, this is a unfortunate situation. It's a very unfortunate situation. There we go. We're getting some speed now. I kind of feel bad for locking those people in, but then again, I really don't either. There we go. Put the cruise on to 60, and we'll just let the truck do the driving. Well, technically, we're doing the driving. We're just letting the truck do the cruising. Man, I really do hate California's 55 speed limit zones. I swear, Illinois trucks can go 80. I think in Nevada you can go, or trucks can go 70 in Illinois. Nevada, they're 80. California, nope, we're just going to keep right at a steady 55. All right. And we got some traffic coming up over here. Looks like we got another truck crash on the opposite side over there. I don't know what happened. Nope, oh, truck lost a load of timber. Man. Man, oh man. I will say this though, for a modded truck that has no, or for the default engine sounds, the truck actually does sound really decent. So this doesn't have like any engine mods or anything like that, it's just the engines that come with this uh, freeware truck and they sound really damn good, I will say that. Get on the engine brake here because everyone looks like they're slowing down. It looks like we're actually going straight on, so. That's good, at least. That's what I'm doing, lady. Don't tell me what to do. Set the cruise at 55, because it looks like they actually slowed down in front of us. And they're slamming on their brakes. Nobody was... Er okay, I was going to say nobody's getting on, so that's good, at least. Oh, uh, forgot to mention Wyoming is set to release on the 7th of September. So we'll definitely be checking that out. There is a new map mod of Alaska as well that we're going to be taking a look at here uh, soon. I'm very excited to get into Alaska and Wyoming. So we may end up doing some streams of those. Uh, depending on if I get back into streaming, I still got to set up all my stuff because my slob settings with my stream deck for some reason have disappeared. So I'm going to have to go back and try to find those files or try to redo them, uh, try to get some new intro music and all that fun stuff. If you guys have any suggestions on where to find, you know, non-copyright music, do let me know. Because right now I'm actually using no copyright sounds, but if you guys have another website that's better, do let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm going to try to get back into streaming uh, this weekend, actually. I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. So I'm going to try to get into some streaming this weekend if possible. I will let you guys know. If anything, it will probably be ATS or uh, Train Sim. Stockton and Sacramento. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, slowing down to a 40, that's why. 
Okay, we're coming in through Stockton right now. I understand it's a 30, but old Swifty right here without with the chrome doors. Different kind of Swift trailer. Oh, well, good thing we're here because we're turning left. Turning left. left. Will do, lady. Will do. Oh, we got an arrow. Perfect. It's like they knew we were coming. It's definitely like they knew we were coming, for sure. <laughs> but we are actually going to be getting on another highway here. Got to make sure we watch our fuel, too, because I ended up running out of fuel in the last episode. But I think we'll, we have enough to make it to our destination. Leaving Stockton, we want to go to Sacramento. Going on 5 North, alright. This is quite a bit of a hill, man. Quite a bit of a hill to get on this interstate. We are running with all our might. <laughs> Alright. Game is starting to lag out here a little bit, I've noticed. I feel like Sacramento's next, so I'm not too worried about time and all this fun stuff. We're in 13th gear, though. 87 degrees outside. I'm still waiting on updates for the California revamp that they were actually talking about a couple months ago. I know they said that they were going to be reworking California, Nevada, Arizona, and all of those like earlier states, New Mexico, and basically turn them into what Nevada, or, uh, Idaho and Colorado are. So I'm still waiting to see... If they're, you know, still working on that or if that project's been delayed. Because, like I said, they now have a release date for Wyoming. No release date for Texas. So I'm just wondering to see if they're, you know, still working on all these projects or what the deal is. But there's a construction zone coming up, it looks like. 55 miles an hour is exactly what we're doing, so I'm not too worried. Doesn't really seem like they're doing much, except for over there. Alright, here we are, Sacramento. But yeah, man, I was looking at a TikTok earlier from California. It's a FEMA load, for if you guys are owner-operators. They're doing like $11,000 to haul from California all the way down to Louisiana. And I'm sitting there like, man, if I had my CDL and my own truck and trailer... I'd be on that right now. I'd be driving to California, trying to find a load near there to California, and being like, "Yep, I'm gonna, I'm picking up this load, man." That's crazy money. That is crazy money for sure. We're gonna wait for this vehicle here. Nobody coming to our right. Okay. Well, this guy's gonna let me go. But this is definitely gonna be interesting because I'm not gonna be able to make this turn with him there unless I take it super wide make sure our trailer oh I think we're gonna clear it oh yeah we're golden so listen to that truck underneath the bridge though it sounds badass Looks like we're taking a side road up here. Yep, right here. Okay, so it looks like it's right at the end of this road over here. And let's hope we can actually back this thing up without having to go into third person. Alright. Make sure our trailer clears that. Looks like it did. 
Ready to turn left. Sounds like a plan. Oh, this is one of these drops. Okay. Alright, so where did they want us? Right there. Here we are, safe and sound. Alright. Thank you, GPS. I can always count on you, you know, most of the time. Looks like it's a construction company, not a construction site drop-off, but a construction company. Y'all better know that, you know, I'm getting my trailer back, so you guys can't keep the trailer. Alright, let's go ahead and get out and see exactly what this uh, setup looks like. Alright, so if we angle it towards the right, all the way to the right... I think we'll be able to knock it back into that spot easily. Go ahead and set her in reverse. And let's see if I could prove my theory right. We do have the spread axle, so it will be a little bit more uh, difficult to maneuver this trailer. Since we're not too used to the spread axle. I mean, we've used it a bunch of times, but it is a little bit more challenging to steer. Oop. We're gonna, oh, we almost barely hit that garage, man. Go ahead and get that into the spot there. Slow and steady wins the race, Adrian. Slow and steady wins the race. See, the thing that I had to previously do was jack my trailer so hard into the spot and then disconnect and get my tractor straight. That is exactly what I had to do uh, in that previous video that I'm not going to upload that I s ended up scrapping. So we might end up having to do that here is just jack it all the way and then unhook and unload the trailer that way. Because right now it looks like it's going into the spot but we don't have enough room for our tractor to actually get into the spot. I mean, we have a little bit of leeway room over here to our right. Not a lot, though. But let's see what we can do with it. Well, we cleared that. That's all that matters. Now it's just more worried about getting this trailer into the lines. I can't really see too well. Um, there's the drop-off point, so we're not on the line. No, we are not. So we're going to have to jack this a little bit, I think. Kind of get it going in there. Want to make sure our, we get our straightened out as much as possible. There we go. That is all we can hope for right now is we get it jacked as much as possible. And then start going in with it. Yep, see, this is exactly what I was talking about, where I had to do the third-person uh, drop. So, or yeah, go into third-person for the drop. So, here we go. Yep, we're gonna have to do this one in third person because it's not wanting to cooperate with us. This is exactly what I was actually trying to avoid doing. Well, maybe we got it this time. Keep jacking that trailer. We should be good now. See if we got it in a good spot. 
Looks like we do. The truck's not straight. I'm not worried about it. As long as the trailer's straight in there. And it's not. Of course it's not. And it's not even the issue of a blindside backing. It's more of the issue of just getting that trailer into the lines. With very little visibility. Hey, we got it. Took us a little bit. It's not the straightest we can get it. But I'm going to take it right now. Let's go ahead and turn off the truck. Shut some flashers off. And let's unload the bad boy. All right, so we did get an excellent today, 393 miles for 84.5 gallons of fuel, and we ended up making $20,593. That's going to go into it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you all later. Peace.